Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stan Lab. Listen, y'all haven't heard that in a freaking minute. Let yeah, me go my... ahead and explain. Because we've been gone for months and a Sundays as the church folk would say. But for good reason. Yeah. If you missed the announcements on Instagram, you should be following us over there. That's where you get the latest and the greatest. Yeah. But my baby over here, he got a Series 7 licensing, which is a brokerage yeah. licensing. So he nailed that. We know he would. But right after that, it's not like it was a secret. I had a um, scheduled surgery that I went through in February. So yeah. ever since February, I have been in the mode of just sitting back and letting my body heal. And it's been the best thing to do in that moment. Yeah. And then COVID-19 came through and put us all on mandatory shutdown. So on top of all of that, we had this. Then we had some killer hornets. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. But they disappeared. It did disappear real quick. Yeah, because COVID outweighed that, man. It did. It yeah. did. But with all of that said, I hope you all are being safe. I hope you, your family is safe. I hope you're not being impacted yeah. by everything that's going on. Um, You saw my thumbnail. You know where I stand with that. I'm, I'm black all day, every day. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get right into this review. No, yeah. no, I'm not. We have gained a lot of new subscribers since we've been hey, going. I'm like, where y'all Welcome, y'all. Welcome to the channel. Appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, yeah. And joining the church. Yeah. So, there will be a new members packet yeah. in the back. In the comment section, we're going to have a whole lot of people. There's secretaries. There's ushers. There's some people that might get you together if you step wrong. Yeah. Hey, that's the formulation of our church. That's hey. our armor barrels, man. Yeah, yeah, you can't step to the pastor without going through him. Yeah. But any hoodles, let's get into Green Leaf. I'm so excited that this show is yeah. back, y'all. I just don't it even know. It sucks that it's the freaking last season, though, man. But they're doing something else with it. So I, I hope they don't buck it up, man. <sighs> this ain't Tyler Perry, so we'll be, yeah. okay. we'll be okay. So season five, episode one, the first day. Yeah. Episode one is showing us that sometimes the decisions that you make, when you think they are the best decisions to make at the time, mm -hmm. will come back and bite you in your hump when yeah. you least suspect it. And I'm sitting here looking at this episode and I can see it in every character where they are regretting right. yep. everything that they did to get where they are. You have Charity. Charity don't slept her way to the top and the bottom at the same time. Who does that? You sleep, your, you sleep your way to AP, but all the way to the bottom of the totem pole with your family. Yeah. Lady May made a deal with the devil. She thought that she was going all the way to the top with old Bob Whitmore, and now she all the way in this with her whole family. Got her sitting at the table drinking hot water and uh, lemon, trying to hear from the Lord within 40 days. Say, so you better eat. Cause... You got Gigi. <laughs> she, you know what she done did for her son, AJ. AJ even is living with some kind of guilt mm -hmm. about, we're going to get into it. Carissa, we're going to get into it too. Everybody is living with a little bit of guilt. And the only person that I see in this episode that is really settled in their spirit about how everything is going down is Bishop. But we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. He kind of is. I think he is. Until he went up to the church. Well. <laughs> well. So Bishop and Gigi end up going to the church. Because y'all know before we left, church got Y'all yeah. let it happen. I forgive y'all. We're going to move past it. But church guy. So they pretty much told um, Bishop, y'all need to come get y'all skit out of the church. They put them out like they didn't pay their last um, month's rent. I mean, everything was going. They was putting the they stuff, throwing it in the back stuff. of yeah. uh, trash cash trucks. All of the skit had to go. I said, darn, this is kind of hard. So even Gigi was like, Daddy, why are we even here? See, like, why would you want to see this? See, the Bishop didn't care nothing about them posters of himself. But when they threw that cross up in the back of that truck, oh, that's when that's when they got him. <laughs> oh, yeah. He said, yeah. we got to go. Yeah, we got to go. But I like what he said. He said, sometimes you have to watch a burial of a thing. No, you have to watch a thing die. Yeah. So that you can believe that it's yeah, really it gone. Happened. I yeah. said, well, God, yeah. done. Yeah, because we try to avoid it, though. Yeah. We do. Yeah, you try, to avoid, you try to avoid it. You try to avoid the closing of a chapter. That's why, like me, I hate funerals. 
Don't mm-hmm. ask me to go to a funeral. You, I think I've been to five funerals in my life. Well, maybe, maybe ten. But definitely not. I agree to say, you black. You done been to a hundred funerals. That lies you tell. <laughs> lies you tell. My family be mad at me all the time because I don't go to funerals. I'm with you. I don't, go, I don't like going to funerals. No, nah, that's either. because it is a closing of a chapter that is never going to be reopened. Yeah. So that's pretty much what Bishop was saying. I got to watch this. I got to feel this. And I got to know that it is over. So they ended up going ahead and leaving, coming back to the house and having an encounter with Lady May. But Aaron was there. So Aaron had came by because Aaron has been put on the case to get old AJ out of the pharmacy robber. Okay. So he comes back with some good news. So all of us thought, the good news is, remember the guy that rolled up on Gigi over there by Faith's grave site? Over there in, um, yeah, on the property? The, The lightly melanated offset? Him. He rolled up on, and we were trying to figure out, like, who, who is this, this dude? dude? And so I'm we, still, we kept thinking it was an angel. But, and so. then I hear a lot of people saying, maybe AJ and this dude was in prison together. Or in jail together. But it kind of doesn't make sense because they are saying, after Aaron shares that, oh boy, fits the description of the robbery that you did. But last night, he was killed in a shootout. Hmm. So in death, he don't took this fall. You free yeah. and the case is closed. But if that was the case, he would be easily identifiable. Yeah. So that's not the case either. So we're still trying to figure out who is this dude and is he the real agent? Hmm. We don't know. Yeah. I, I'm still like all over the place. But sometimes I'm like, this has to be the real AJ. The AJ that's at the house. But then sometimes I'm like... I don't know, y'all. And I know y'all are in the same boat. But and then the second question is, how in the world he end up all the way out there on the plantation? And you know, they way back up in the woods. Yeah. So Because they don't go? have no one no more. Yeah. So no one, no one he, secure skit. Yeah. So how did, they, how did he end up all the way back there? So that's why we kind of believe that he was an angel. But now that he done died at the, at the well, stove. He, he done died in flesh. Yeah, that he ain't died no in flesh. Yeah, angel can't get I mean, I guess it can get you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but if he, he'd be the first dead angel that I know. <laughs> so I don't know. But Aaron, I mean, shoot, not Aaron. AJ, he's kind of like, let me, I'm going to say this. Shoot me now. Shoot me later. Don't matter. I'll take the bullet. AJ is such a buzzkill. Yeah, I, I, just let him go. She should have. We've been, we, we were saying that last season. Oh my God. Just let him. He don't want to be saved. What the song said? Don't saying? save him. He don't want to be yes, saved. Yeah, he don't want to be saved. So just go on, let him, you know. Oh, he's such a buzzkill. Yeah, I know you And I'm to, glad what happened to him. It, it, no, no. I know Gigi trying to make up for the lost time because of what she did to him. But I'm still a stickler. If somebody don't want you in their life, shake the dust off your feet. That's bad. And keep your freaking moving. Don't cast that's what your I believe pearls in. before the swine. Yeah. And that's that's what the Bible says. Because they're going to trample underneath their feet. And hello. Going to put mud all over your good pearls that you paid a good amount of money for. You hear that, Jesus? Huh? Let him go. Let, Let him, him go. go. Send him to the Lord. Do something because he getting on my nerves. Man. But, maybe, maybe Lady May should have been fasting for him. <laughs> for instead of trying to get that church back. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, come find out Lady May don't even want the church back. Yeah, I said, well, finally, her and Bishop are on the same page when neither one of them really want the church back. But they want to know what the next move of God. I said, this is the first time they've really been flowing in the spirit. Yeah. For real, for real. So let's move on over to Carissa and Jacob, right? Y'all know that, oh, uh, what's the boy named? Fernand, F- what was his name? Philip, man. No, Philando. Philando. I think that's his name. The guy she was messing with, the one that dropped the hot tamales over into her juice box. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. They still on that. And ever since that, they get ready to get a divorce, y'all. And I, I'm conflicted on how I feel about this because I don't like Carissa. I want to make sure that that's not influencing how I feel. <laughs> right now, I'm like, go somewhere, get, just go. I don't care. But at the same time, Jacob, you so hypocritical. Yeah. Because as much, much as side booty you was getting, and she and she stuck with you, you just go have to take the burn with the, and, and just you just on. pissed off because she, 
Because she had, she gave you commitment. Yeah. I mean, so in the one hand, I'm like, this is the opportunity to get rid of that heifer. I'm sick of her. But at the same time, I'm like, Jacob, um, you did the same thing. Yeah. Over and over and over again. Such a conflict. But, but, she, but she got him by the balls with that they're going to wield on She do, but I think he's going to get out of it. So what Carissa is doing, she's gotten the will to the house in which she's staying in right now, too. And Uncle Max's name is on the will as the executor. Mm -hmm. And in so many words, this family shook down the original owner, had her killed to take what she has, which is now what we possess right now. And I kind of believe it, man, because, oh, you, you know, because they, they got the church they, like that. They burned up Sykes' daddy in the church. So, <laughs> so why mean, wouldn't they? Why, kill, wouldn't, why wouldn't they do that? You kill one, you kill another. <laughs> yeah. Hell, doves come in a path. Ah. Uh, so, yeah. So pretty much she was like, if you don't give me everything that I want in this divorce, then this is going to be known knowledge. Hmm. So Jacob is like, uh, do I want... The skip that's going down in my marriage to take my entire family down, I know. Yeah. But he doesn't have a real way out of this right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So before Aaron could get... Look, they, I hope they paying Aaron some money. Oh, they ain't giving Aaron no dime. <laughs> His dad already didn't leave him with no friggin' money. Yeah. Because he's gay. Ain't that some bull skit? Bull skit for and, sure. And it's pride month. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. But, um... Aaron was called over there to Jacob, and Jacob was like, listen, partner, can I run something by you? So he started talking about the will and this, that, the third. So Aaron was like, look, I know what it looks like, and if it looks like what it looks like to me, to you, we on the same page. But what I need to do is get the original yeah. will mm -hmm. so that I can see what was going on and try to make Prior sense to. of the story to yeah. see if there's not a reason why Matt's name is on here as executor. Mm -hmm. If I can figure that out, we could probably be a little good with it. But if I can't, yeah, it is this what it is. Be standing right here. <laughs> and he said, I hope and pray that whoever you dealing with that's trying to shake you down with this, I hope y'all work it out. Now it ain't looking too good. Now I'm gonna say this right here. Carissa is an ungrateful. <sighs> I'm, I'm not gonna call her no names. No, nah, I don't call her no names. Yeah. An ungrateful lady. <laughs> <laughs> they don't let you stay in that house practically for free. Hello. You and Jacob moved out to go over to Skank's church when they told y'all don't do it. Uh -huh. Y'all end up losing everything that y'all had and they let y'all back in. And now you're going to get a will and try to lose again, use that against them? Yeah. Come on now. Black folk, man. I can't do nothing with them. Man, nice as that house is, I, I want to probably freaking take residence there myself. Hello. Certainly in COVID right now, man. I'll go stay with somebody to save some money, man. Man, you want that nice piece of property? Yeah. I'll go stay over there and know it's old house. But no, Zorda, we just flow over there. But what if, but what if that, that, uh, what if Philando, what if that dude is putting her up to it? Well, in so many words, he is. But, you know, that indirect push in the back, you know. Yeah. But, uh, so Jacob... He's, his wheels are turning now, so he needs to find out more information about old Uncle Mac and what he had going on and how in the heck did his name end up on this um on this wheel. So, he called Joyce Myers, right? Hmm. Alexis. And he told Alexa, call Joyce Myers. I said, don't put, don't put the evangelist in this <laughs> here, Michael. She ain't got skit to do with your skit. But that's how he was cheating. Call Joyce Myers. We need to pray together. No, y'all praying uh, together. Yep. So he ended up going over Alexis' house, and first of all, I was like, "Is Alexis on something?" Yeah, cause she don't, she don't fell far from grace. <laughs> yeah, so she looked po. No, I ain't no ten. She looked like she in COVID nineteen. <laughs> Living in a box, and then we look over there and we see this biracial Beautiful baby. baby. Beautiful said, little girl. I and said, Jacob was like, "I said we we not gonna ask no questions, huh? How how old that baby look?" Yeah, you need to do some counting, you know. You know, pull, <laughs> pull some records or something. Cause yeah. So she, he ended up going over there asking her what she knew about where Mac held a lot of his documents. And at first she was like, so is that all you came over here to ask me? And I was confused by it. Because eventually he asked her, yo, baby, no yeah, husband. You got, you got biracial. Yeah. Is this mine? And she like, was no. like, 
No, I wouldn't have kept your baby. I said, well, what the earth? He's a lie. But the way she said it, and the way that she asked him, is that what you came over here for? As if she was waiting for him to come over for something else. Mm -hmm. Maybe to figure out if she's had him. It was weird to me, but he says it's not. She says it's not his baby. We're going to keep it. I high. think it's his baby, Mike. But I can appreciate Alexis for having that baby half laid. You hear what I say? Because <laughs> you know a lot of times. Never mind. Yeah, I am going to say it. A lot of times, they don't know how to do our hair. It'd be all over the place. Well, sometimes that's cute, but I could appreciate a biracial baby that had her hair nice and tame and conditioned and moisturized. Boom. Love it. So, um, this new church setup. Hmm. Nobody's feeling this new church setup. No. Nah. At Special Call Beef. No. <laughs> It'll finally roll down to the deacons and all them, like Sykes and all them. They thought this is what they wanted. Mm -hmm. The original deacons, um, this is not what they wanted. They don't want to because, what's his name? Phil DeMoy? Yeah, Phil DeMoy. Phil DeMoy though said that, told them that, listen, we got to go and clear out all this skit. Church going to be demolished. We're going into a gym for a little bit until we can get this stuff, you know, get it, um, the building rebuilt and whatnot. Nobody's feeling that at freaking I'm like, home. freaking why? That's a nice church, man. And you gonna knock that part, down? All part of the plan. You got churches right now that can't get a donut. Yeah. And you knocking down that. A whole building. Nice facility so you can build something else so you can stick your chest out. Mm -hmm. And say that I took Calvary away from Bishop and rebuilt it for myself. Yeah. So we got Charity over here. She's still in her feelings because Phil is gonna marry Judy. Because that's the only way that he can become the pastor. Because what's the name? No, Bob. Bob, yeah. forgive me. It's been a it's been a minute since I said these names. <laughs> so, because Bob told him, said, "You don't marry my daughter, you don't get to church." He pretty much chose pastorship over charity, and he told Charity, "You know, we need to hold up a united front. We need to go into these meetings acting like we're together." But Charity, be a charity, she goes in there acting like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be the one that's preaching the word, and I'm gonna do this." Yeah. First there of all, that would have been my cue to just leave. Because I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. <laughs> Not the way you acting right now. Yeah. And then she ends up over at his house trying to give him his ring back. And he was like, no, keep the ring. And she was like, why? Is this some kind of prize? Like, I'm, this is my keepsake for being played by you. And he was like, I love you. But pretty much, I love this position that I'm being put in right now more than you. So uh, you're just collateral damage. And I'm like, no, you are a way to that freaking building. So I think Phil actually started started loving her for real though. I'm still on the fence so because I'm... because he told Mama he told her that Phil was the one that made me do it, and the problem Bob. with Bob meant Bob was the one that made me do that. The problem with that he said I've been with Bob for 20 years, so I had to do this. Man, over 20 years you could have built your own goddamn church, man. Yes, for real. It probably could have had more members than Calvary and them put together. But because you thought you could come up off of this dude, he done got you by the kahunas, yeah. making you marry his daughter that you don't want to marry, all to be able to preach? You better get on YouTube. You ain't have a lot. <laughs> Facebook Live like the rest uh -huh. of the pastors uh -huh. right now. So I remember I told y'all that um, Gigi had went over there to talk to Darius and to get information about who is the lightly melanated offset. Need to know who he is, where he came from. I just need to know. Yeah. Well, in the midst of Darius trying to find out who that is, he called Gigi and was like, I need to have a meeting with you immediately. Yeah. Because in I'm, person. Because I found out some information that's going to be good for you huh. and your family. Well, come to find out, he had an interview with Bob Whitmore. And Bob purchased a home in that area a year ago. Never occupied the home, never did anything. Hmm. Pretty much it was a plan. He's been giving large donations to different organizations around there, blah, 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 blah. Well, come to find out the reason that his sights was on Calvary is because he wants to run for a Republican seat in the Senate. Mm -hmm. And what a better way yep. to get in the good graces of everybody is to have a multiracial church. Exactly. The black vote. We see that right now. Mm -hmm. See, we don't matter 
until we matter. Mm -hmm. We don't count until, until we, we, we count. count. Okay. So, uh, yeah, don't be fooled by all of that. Now, I'm seeing a lot of that going on right frigging now. We had an incident at our polling place. We don't want to talk about it. Yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's what he's up to. So, the reason that he is in town is because he wants to almost guarantee mm -hmm. his seat in the Senate. Yep. I say, well, I'll be darned. So, now Darius was like, oh, now with this information right here, we can reclaim everything that they did. We can we can stop it in its tracks. We can stop the building from going down. We can do all that. And Gigi was like, I don't think any of that's that gonna easy. matter. Yeah. And you got Darius, the atheist, talking about some. You need to have a little, little faith. Little faith. <laughs> I said, well, <laughs> that would have stopped me in my tracks too. I was yeah. like, well, we need to try this. Say so you don't even love the Lord. Uh -uh. <laughs> so you said that. So oh okay. So in the midst of all that's going on now. Bishop and Lady May finally decide to have a conversation and make some sense. Mm -hmm. And they both was like, you know what? We need to figure out what we're going to do with the next chapter of our life. Church gown. We neither one of us say we want it anymore. So uh -huh. what is it that we need to do? And Bishop was like, you know, I had a meeting with those ladies and they need a shepherd. Mm -hmm. They need somebody that's going to direct them to the Lord. They need they, they need to be led right now. <laughs> and we the only ones that can do the it. The only ones that can do it. <laughs> so he said, why don't we build our own? And you know, Lady May is like, what? Mm -hmm. and right. He was like, ever since you did that day with Lady May, you know, I realized that this is just what we need to do. We need it's to get our own? our own way. Really? So that's what they decided they want to do. But he said, before we can yeah. do any of that. We can't be in this house all shacked up. I yeah, almost we, forgot to think yeah, about the we need, we need to go on down to the county and make this official. We need to make this right with the Lord. Because we open that church and them good church folk will think we in here shacking up. Well, they know y'all shacking up. And that's <laughs> going to be the first thing they bring up. <laughs> oh, you not y'all not even married. Y'all can't yep. lead these people together and y'all ain't even married. Y'all can't yep. even officiate a wedding if y'all not married. Uh, so uh, he was like, let's go ahead and do this today. Lady May wanted to do it with nobody but them too. He decided, no, let's call the entire yeah, family, family together and let them witness this. So that's when the phone calls is made to everybody. Everybody's like, oh, got to come back to the house. There's a sudden wedding that we need to attend. So everybody ended up driving up. Charity was like, even me? You want me? Didn't they call you? Yeah. I mean, they really don't want you. The only one that really wants you there is Bishop, but yeah, get in your yeah, car and, and deal come with you for right now. Bishop tells um, Zora to weed explore, make sure that she posts all of this on oh, Instacart. <laughs> I lost it. I said, he owed to his heart? And he probably said that in real life. Yeah. So. And they I, left it in there. <laughs> yeah. So then they're looking around and they're like, there's one person missing from this party here. Where's AJ? Mm -hmm. Well, they thought AJ was with Sophia. We're going to talk about Sophia in another episode because we not nothing going on this episode. Yeah. They was like, no, he wasn't with me. I thought he was with you. So Gigi was like, oh, because when, right when she left AJ earlier, he, you know, the buzz kill. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to go out to dinner? Um, yeah, you know, he, I, I don't want really did it, you know. Yeah. And I was like, okay, maybe AJ is finally going to settle into the fact that this lady loves you. Well, let me ask you this question. You know, you wanted a good church folk. All right. Lay it on me. So, Gigi want this kid to take the rap for what AJ did. <laughs> is that right? No, it ain't right. <laughs> Now, what I said, ain't nobody settled in their spirit about what they did. Uh, and even AJ was but challenging AJ, her. Yeah, but AJ didn't feel like it was right. Felt like I need to pay for what I did. It's not fair for this dude to take the rap for even what I did. Even in death. Yeah. So. What I did. But when AJ looked in the mirror and started crying, I was like, okay, maybe he's really going to grow into like, himself and boss up, you know, take this one on the chin, settle it. Oh, I thought he was going to run away again. And I did. I thought, I he, was thought he was going to run away. away. And yeah. I thought, actually, I thought that he had ran away this time. Mm -hmm. So when Gigi ran upstairs and she couldn't find him and she hit that door and that door was locked, I said, oh, shit. Uh -huh. And she knew something was wrong. So she broke that I, door I, I down. I hope you didn't hurt your elbow. You're Your freaking arm, arm doing that, Gigi, because you, you found that door pretty hard there. <laughs> Gigi be going through a lot, man. Yeah, man. So when she bust that door down, the buzz kill, 
He had slit his wrist, y'all. I was <laughs> like, come on, AJ. Now, I'm going to say this, and this is where I'm not such a good Christian. I wouldn't say this in real life, but on this show right here, I hope AJ is gone. Not Tyler Perry gone when he down in the water for two weeks. You don't want him to be resurrected. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I think him going, though. He, he, he AJ gone. was such a buzzkill. But here's the thing about AJ. AJ is so vindictive and so... Uh, I could see AJ writing a suicide letter and emailing that to the police department and even in death taking the whole family down with him. Hmm. Like, it's some crazy mess with, with, um, AJ. So, yeah. which I hope not. Which I which I understand him being upset with his mama for what his yeah. mama did. But G Gigi was young when she made the decision. She was trying to make it right. But again and again, I say, you know, she tried to step back in. Yeah. He didn't want it. Leave it alone. And maybe if she didn't try to force her way back into his life, maybe he would have never robbed the stove and committed suicide. But wasn't he reaching out for her? He was reaching out to her. I thought she. I thought he. I thought he. She reached out for him. No, he reached out to her. Remember, he. Had got, she had got the phone call from the facility that he was in, and that's where it started everything. I think. Yeah, it's been a while. It has been yeah, a while. Are we right, y'all? Y'all remember? Yeah. It's yeah. Been, it's, it's been a while. And that's what she kind of was like. Uh, my son. But at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, when he made it clear that he didn't want her sympathy. That was the time to exit until he was ready Yeah. for that relationship. But it's such a delicate line to cross because you don't want to feel like you're giving up too fast. Yeah. And then you don't want to feel like you're pushing your will on somebody that don't want it either. It's such a delicate balance. That's why the Lord made cell oh, phones we go. and invented text messaging. So you get his phone number and every month you just send him a nice te text say, hey, AJ, this is your mama. I'm just checking to see how you're doing. Hope all is well. If you need anything, hit me back. Yeah, need your That's hair. all you got to do. Need your hair retwisted. Let yes. me know. Yeah. So how y'all feel about the possibility that AJ is dead? I think that AJ is really dead. I think he's dead. Because this is own. This is Oprah. Yeah. This isn't Tyler Perry. Tyler exactly. Perry would have had him resurrected yeah. next week. Matter of fact, matter of fact, when she came in there and started hugging on him, he would have popped that back alive. Yeah, alive. So yep. how do y'all feel about that? Like, do anybody else feel like yeah, the yeah, buzzkill yeah. is gone? Yeah, and how y'all feel about the bishop them starting a new church? Or you think they should just go and retire and enjoy their new marriage and go on to Bahamas or Jamaica somewhere? Hello. And settle down and have a good time and have some makeup sex. Yeah. <laughs> Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla!